Yo YouTube, what's up? We at it again. We are brewing with some more cards from Eldrain. This time we're diving into Boggles. Now this list I think is super, super sweet. So good, so good. Um, pretty much standard Boggles with just some new cards added in and I think that creates such a consistency now that it is terrifying. I've already seen one person go 5-0 with this list and um, yeah, let's dive right in. So, pretty typical mana base. We're going 16 lands, a little less than uh, normal, but we got four canopies, one plains, four thickets, three temple grounds, and four fetches. Pretty general right there. Then we hop on over to the enchantments. Not always played as much, but we got four cartouches, four ethereal armor, three griff's boon, th uh, two hyena armor, two spirit link, which I think is really good right now to be playing, uh, especially with all the burn. Putting them on Eidolons uh, just really helps out. Four Rancor and four Spider Umbra. Now we get to the fun stuff. The new card is All That Glitters. All That Glitters is an enchant creature for one and a white. An enchanted creature gets plus one plus one for each artifact and enchantment you control. So basically, it's just another ethereal armor, which is ridiculous. This card is usually what allows you to win a lot of games. Um, next to Coronet, but so when you're just rocking eight of these, you can just get carried away so fast. Um, then we have one Spirit Mantle, just still just a good catch-off for those matchups. Uh, four Daybreak Coronets card is just obviously what makes Boggles so terrifying. Uh, the next new card is Once Upon a Time. Once Upon a Time, for those who don't know, is one and a green, and if it's the first spell you've cast this turn. Or this game, sorry. It's the first spell you cast this game entirely. So it's the very first spell you cast. You can cast it for free. And what's this card allow us to do? It allows us to dig five cards deep to look for a creature or a land. This card can be nuts. It is super good, I think. It allows us to run... To, uh, this allows us to not run uh, Spirit Break, Spirit Dance. Yeah, Core Spirit Walker, sorry. And that is a big upside in my opinion. Because now we're just solely focusing on getting a boggle out instead of having to rely on getting, you know, that half 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 ass hand and having to rely on a core spirit dancer, which can be easily removed. You know, so this just allows us to go find a boggle or a second land, which is super relevant because we're only running sixteen. So if we have a land, like a thicket and a one spot at a time, we get to dig five deep to find our land, which really fixes a lot of a lot of games, makes them pretty smooth. Uh and we are only running a suite of eight boggles, um, which again, once upon a time, really helps smooth that out. I really think that this is nuts. This deck is so good, so smooth, so simple. And uh, honestly, I mean, it's probably still super budget in comparison to most modern decks. And you're going to win a lot with this deck. You you just are. People aren't just equipped to deal with uh, hexproof. Uh, but yeah, going on to the sideboard, pretty... Pretty simple in terms of sideboarding. We have four Pithing Needles. This just allows us to deal with Control, Tron, just so many decks, anything. This is our answer to Planeswalkers like Liliana, for example, so that way we're not sacking creatures. Uh, Tron for Karns, both of them. Uh, three Damping Spheres. Again, those are just super good. Uh, again, against Tron, against Storm, any deck trying to cast multiple spells. And then again, we have the new card. Deafening Silence. Deafening Silence says each player can't cast more than one non-creature spell each turn for one white. That is huge. This allows us to get, again, another enchantment on the field, um, which is just so good with our uh, All That Glitters and F Ethereal Armor, which, again, also Ethereal or, uh, All That Glitters is so good because it counts these artifacts. Artifacts and or enchantments, which, again, is huge because when we're sideboarding, you know, we play down a Piving Needle, and then we get all that glitters. That's plus two. That's so good. Uh, and then we have four Seal of Primordium. Pretty much exactly why you'd expect it's in there for um, just pesky, pesky uh, bridges and things like that that are pretty tough for us to fight through. But yeah, this is new Boggles. I think this is gonna. This list is pretty much, I think, what the a good go-to is gonna be for quite a while. There could be arguments for the core Spirit Walkers to be in here still, uh, as they do win some games when people take out a little removal or something like that. But 
I think at this point, most people understand to keep in the removal because we're going to be playing more Spirit Walkers. So at this point, they just won't know, for a while anyways, that we're just not running any. We don't play Spirit Walkers. We are straight 8 Boggle for once upon a time. Let's slam some hexproof little guys and just start banging. So I'm excited to play this a bunch. I probably will be playing this uh, this week. This this week, probably starting Wednesday, probably Wednesday, 8 p.m. Eastern, uh, as I stream Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, uh, 8 p.m. Eastern, until basically I'm tired. But um, yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know down in the comments. Uh, is this the type of deck tech you like? Is should I go more in depth into the cards and why there's so many of each one? Do you really want some hard breakdowns? Uh, let me know. I'm trying to get a lot better at these. I'm trying to get better at talking to the camera. I'm just trying to get better at a little bit of everything. But um, yeah, if you like it, please drop a comment below. Subscribe to the channel. Follow, like it. Do whatever you got to do. Just hit me up. Let me know. Uh, you can DM me on Twitter if you have suggestions. If you don't want it to be seen in the comments. I don't really care. I just want to start talking to you guys and figuring out what I need to do to increase or uh, get better at this overall. So let me know. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.